everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Lottie and I'm a crick cutter and in the past I have made my own kilner jars now I get asked all the time how do you apply the stickers that maybe you've bought online or even if you've bought them from me I do supply them so make sure you message me down below or on Instagram or Facebook I also have an email address but you can head to lardyroach.com to figure out all of that um so yeah you've bought the stickers online and you're just not sure how to actually get them on the jars well this is a quick tutorial of what you need to be doing and how to not get the paint off because you really don't want to do that <laughs> so yeah stick around and let's see what we get up to so there's probably two ways that your stickers have arrived it is just like this this is how i send them or they might have been sent with a clear plastic over the top that's called a transfer tape your sticker is actually just the writing and then the white bit is the backing so either of the stickers is totally fine i would say try and peel the transfer tape off just because it might be a bit too sticky for your painted jars if you've definitely made them at home so first of all is you get your sticker and you get any old regular seller tape now i use the pound shop because it's nice and cheap so what you want to do is get a nice bit of long bit of seller tape like so and now you want to go crazy on anything that is super fluffy to make this the least bit sticky as possible so on your clothes on your jumpers on your coats anything that might be a bit fluffy so a nice scarf is a great way to do it i know it feels so wrong to get it like that but uh, it's just fluff don't worry it will not stick to your jar or your wording so yeah it'll be totally fine this is the easiest way to get it to stick so next what you want to do is get your word right the way through the center of your tape if you have the dots on the eyes make sure you can get that on because you don't want to be adding that later on and have it in the wrong position so once you've got it like this you need to get your scissors use the plastic handle of your scissors and go across it on a surface to get out any air bubbles or to make sure that it just really really sticks now to the tape once you're happy it's nice and stuck to the tape all we're going to do is peel off the backing and it comes away super duper easy next you want to get your jar now my jar is already done so i'm going to stick this on a candle just to show you what i'm talking about so let's pretend this is your painted jar and then this is your sticker with your wording on all we're going to do is position it in the place that we want making sure it's nice and level there we go and then we're going to go across now what we don't want to do is stick any of these bits down because they do have a tendency of pulling the paint off when you try and pull the cell tape away so let's just do the wording now we don't need to go over with the scissors or anything like that but because mine is a plastic it will start to peel the wording away when you're doing it on your paint it'll be totally fine and you don't need to worry about this so we're going to start peeling the wording away oh no mine's all right today there we go oh a little bit did you see that so when you pull yours away it will actually stick to the jar it's just because mine's plastic and this type of vinyl does not like sticking to plastic there we go and it will be stuck perfectly to your jar now if you find that there's a bump in it or you know there's um it's a bit squiff and you want to try again try very very carefully just with your nails and peel it top of the letter and then the bottom of the letter top of the letter and bottom don't try and peel it from one side to the other as it can start pulling on the um the vinyl the sticker itself and it can make it a little bit bumpy if you don't like it whatsoever message me and i'll try and send you out some other ones if it starts to peel you can add your sealer spray i've got that link down below or in my diy kilner jar video and you can just buy the spray add a few layers on the top and that should keep the sticker actually stuck to the jar don't wash it for 72 hours as that will make the sticker peel off and yeah it'll be totally fine and it'll be perfect like that so i hope this video helped you and you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and we'll see you again for the next one bye